Well, because we were groovy, we were groovy, and we were talking to, and I think gave our publishing, the Floyd's publishing, to David Platt, and we were the bright young things, you know, we were the hip happening people on the block. You know, we understood this underground stuff. You know, we got on with John Peel and we knew who John Peel was and we did underground shows and he had this underground act, which was Tyrannosaurus Rex. You know, Denny Cordell, whom I hadn't known before then, Visconti was doing it and, and you know, David said, I, maybe you should manage this band. That we, I, we, you know, because he had the label, he was doing the label and he wanted someone to take care of them. And so that's how we became involved with Tyrannosaurus Rex. And uh, that, of course, also made us kings of the underground. The thing was that why, why we lost T Tyrannosaurus Rex was because Mark started going out with June Child, who was uh, our, our assistant. Andrew's and my assistant stroke secretary. And we got a bit, you know, we didn't really like the fact that he would be coming in and sitting on her lap. You know, and we say, no, come on, you can't do this. You know, this is really un uncool. We're trying to run a business here, you know. And, I know we can have the odd joint, but you know. And we said to them in the end, we said to June, said, look, June, you've got three choices. You know, we're pretty easy on this, you, but you can either go off and live with Mark and, and be cuddlesome, or you can stay working here and work for Mark. You know, in other words, be Mark's person under our thing. Uh, and, or number three, um, you know, you, 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 you can just, go on working for us and, and, and not work with Mark and, and have your own life and go and visit him. But what we can't have is, you know, you come in having Mark sitting on your lap uh, all the time. You know, this is really uncool. So within minutes, he'd left. Now then, before that, I'd already talked to Mark and said, look, Mark, you know, you're doing really well. You're doing these shows with, with, with uh, Peel and things and, and it's going very well. And you, your first album's doing quite well. And... The problem is you're sitting cross-legged on the floor with an acoustic guitar with a microphone and you're trying to get monitors so that you can hear yourself sing and play but they're feeding back because you know, you're just using an ordinary sure mic and a thing, an acoustic guitar and it's feedback nightmare so people can't hear you. And you're sitting cross-legged and the most of the stages are about that high so they can't see you either and even if they're reasonably sight they can't see you so i recommend mark that perhaps you should get an electric guitar and stand up so that people can see you you know it would make an awful lot of difference it will really help so then then the row comes on with, with June and June, you know, is, is not happy with the suggestion because I don't know. And I, a note comes in, which to this day I'm really upset I never kept, but it was a note with, on a tiny sort of torn out bit of paper by Mark saying, uh, dear Peter, I, we're leaving, I'm leaving you at Black Hill because you started to interfere with my creative work by suggesting I should go electric. It was more cutely phrased and short than that but basically I was accused of getting him to go electric and and you know getting involved in three months later he was riding a fucking white swan <laughs>